Hello, I'm Tom Booker, Senior Instructor. Thank you for joining me. This is our orientations session for new students and their families, for both fundamental students and for Karate Tiger students and their families. Now, for beginning students, lessons available by age are Karate Tigers, ages four and five, Junior Fundamentals, ages 6 to 8, Pre-Teen Fundamentals, ages 9 to 12, and Teen and Adult Fundamentals, ages 13 and older. Our Event Schedule. You can find our school event schedule on our website, broadwayfamilykarate.com. To get access, click on the Members tab at the top of the page. On the drop-down menu at the top, you will find a tab for Members Calendar for upcoming school events. Lesson Attendance For Karate Tigers and Fundamental students, please attend both your A and B lesson every week whenever possible. If you are going to be at home quarantining or isolating, please let our senior instructor, that's me, Mr. Booker, know. At your request, I'll prepare written guides for you to work with your karate skills at home using your online video tutorials. Achievement Stripes. Karate Tigers and Fundamental students earn achievement stripes to go on their rank belt once every five weeks. Students earn these stripes by learning and then demonstrating selected karate skills that we've been working on together in our lessons. Once a student has earned both achievement stripes on their rank belt, and here's an example. Bronze stripe, silver stripe. Once you have earned both your achievement stripes, you will know what you need to know to be eligible to advance to your next rank level. Promotion exam. Now, students advance to the next rank level by taking a promotion exam. Promotion exams take place at the end of every study term. For the promotion exam, students demonstrate both their understanding and ability to perform a selection of the karate skills they learned to earn their two achievement stripes. The promotion exam will take two lessons to complete, one A day and one B day. That's for fundamental students. For Karate Tiger students, they will take only one lesson to complete their promotion exam. Now, the promotion exam is not about, oh gosh, do you know how to do, say, a palm heel strike? You prove that when you earned your achievement stripe for that skill. What the promotion exam is about is, now that you know it, show us your best work with it. Show us how well you can do it. So there are not going to be any surprises on the promotion exam. This is going to be over skills that we have worked with extensively in our lessons together things you know how to do. Nobody's going to ask you to do something like fight 50 ninjas with a rolled up newspaper or something like that. Now, graduation. Students are awarded their new ranks at a special graduation ceremony. These will take place during regular lesson times. At graduation, Students will perform a brief demonstration of some of the skills they learned to earn their new rank. 
After the demonstration, we will publicly award their new rank belts and certificates of rank. We will schedule your graduation to allow you to invite a few family members and friends to attend in accordance, in accordance with the current Tennessee Pledge guidelines. So we uh, are still going to be physical distancing and limiting the number of people we're going to have in the school, but we're going to try to arrange graduation so you can invite at least a few family and even friends to come see you at graduation. This can be a good way to share your martial arts instruction with those close to you. And especially if you've got somebody who is asking you, well, gosh, what is it you do in karate lessons anyway? This can be a good way to answer that question. Invite them to come see you at graduation. Special events. We will have special events from time to time during a study term. Now, in the current circumstances, we are having to limit those special events to the absolute minimum necessary. But in the fullness of time, I have no doubt that we will be resuming a full set of special events, some for some training events for our students, and some more general events that you can invite family and friends to come with you to. Now, information about these special events will be distributed by email and will also be listed in our term event schedule. We'll post them on our website and our Facebook page. We'll announce them during our regular lessons together. We'll put up information flyers here at the school. We'll make every effort to let you know what's coming up so that you can participate if you choose to do so. Now again, at present, we're having to limit special events, which is why we're doing a video orientation session. But in the next few months, we should certainly be able to resume a full set of special events for students and families. Assertive skills. We will be learning and practicing assertiveness skills during our weekly lessons for students ages six and older, for junior fundamental students and up. Our textbook for these is Speak Up and Get Along by Scott Cooper. There's a copy right there. Please do get a copy for yourself so that you can follow along during our lessons and so that you can work together at home. For these lessons to be most effective, it's important for us to be speaking about them in the same terms, that we're all on the same sheet of music, so to speak. Now, we have been using the Scott Cooper book for many years. It's very accessible, very user-friendly. It works well here in our lessons together, and I think you will find that it's something that you can easily work with together at home as well. Our assertiveness training is really an extension of our self-defense work. Most of us are going to face self-defense situations in which somebody's trying to treat us unfairly, they're trying to manipulate us, they're trying to bully us. It's not necessarily a physical attack, but we have got to be able to take charge of that situation and to protect ourselves, to stick up for ourselves, without letting that situation turn into a quarrel or a fight, but equally without letting somebody treat us like we're some kind of doormat. And our assertiveness lessons are all about that dealing with difficult people, difficult situations, 
in a firm, constructive way where we are taking charge of that situation and making sure that we are treated with the respect and consideration that we deserve. So it's an important part of our curriculum, an important part of our work together in our lessons. Now, the fundamentals course is intended to provide a set of strong, basic karate skills and also to give our students a good understanding of what it is to be a martial arts student over the course of three study terms. Students will progress from white belt up to senior yellow belt during this course. Successful participation in the fundamentals course will also prepare students for eventual membership in the honors program, which is the ascension path to black belt. Now, we don't ask someone to commit to earning their black belt two weeks after they first walk into our school. Let's get to know each other a bit first. Let's work together, get a good idea of what is involved in martial arts instruction, in being a martial arts student. Then, after a few months, we can usefully talk about, are you ready to make that kind of commitment, to commit to earning your black belt? The Fundamentals Program, this is about, let's get to know each other, let's get a good understanding of how lessons work, what's involved in being a martial arts student. Then we can certainly usefully talk about training to the black belt level, committing to earning your black belt. Now, for our Tiger students, we're going to be focusing on basic karate skills, using these to help our students develop balance, coordination, flexibility, agility, and social skills for relating with peers. For many of our Tiger students, our four and five-year-olds, this is the first, or at least one of the first, organized lessons they have done with other kids their own age. So part of this Tiger's course is just learning how that process works, learning how to follow simple instructions, learning how to focus your attention on a task. But we don't expect students to be able to do that unassisted coming into the Tigers program. That's something that all of us have to learn how to do. Now, the Tigers course uses a unique set of colored belts to mark student progress and prepares our students to participate in the more structured curriculum and the longer lessons of the fundamentals course. Thank you very much for joining me. Please let me know if you have any questions.